Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. I cannot, it has, it has been five years since we've seen my dear friend, Dr. April Freaking Graditz of the Acumed Clinic in Branson. And full disclosure, I have known Dr. April since she was nine years old, and it makes me feel a uh, very old. Did you babysit her, Jeremy? What was that about? You know what it was? She what? I produced and directed a kid's show in Branson, oh. and she was one of the stars. Yeah, choreographed. And I choreographed yes. it. Oh, I love yeah, that. Okay. okay. She was a, a singer, dancer, actress, and I was hired to do a kid's review. Nice. And April and her sister Stacy were in it. Yes. And brilliant dancers and singers, yes. and we had the best time. We had so much fun. That's some so of my fondest fun. memories. I can't believe that was only a year ago. That oh, was I know last year. She's 10, I'm 12, <laughs> deal well, with it. He already said it's been five years, so we're going to have to just, yeah. all right. Messing with the numbers. Yes. So, Dr. April, tell us about Acumed Clinic, and you have an anniversary happening. We do. It's our nine-year anniversary. Hard to believe. We've been in Branson for that long. So, Stacy and I are both doctors of acupuncture and oriental medicine, and we really enjoy treating an array of conditions because it's all about balance. So we treat everything from digestive problems, um, pain management, of course, but our specialty doctorates are in reproductive medicine. So we get to help families grow naturally or with assisted reproductive technologies. So that's a really fun department for us as, as it is for anyone helping with families. And we get to do all sorts of things in the traditional Chinese medicine form uh, of the modality. But what we're going to talk about today is low energy neuro feedback system. So that is short LENS is the acronym for that. So LENS is an EEG, which is an electroencephalogram as a general definition. So an EEG is used to detect the electrical activity in the brain. And for LENS in a clinical setting, what we're using it for is higher central nervous system function. So we use it for all sorts of conditions and symptoms for people who've had some kind of a maladaptive brain pattern. So what, wow. what are you going to try to detect on me today with the lens? Like, what are you looking for? Because I don't, I don't know. So we come up with the settings, the sites, the duration of the treatment based upon a central nervous system evaluation that you submit and your neurological history. So it depends on what kind of things you've had happen. A lot of people have had bumps on the head, concussions. They've had a high fever. It's caused brain fog. They've had different anxiety disorders, depressive disorders, people that are on the autism spectrum. It helps with attention deficit disorder, hyper activity in general and clarity so what it does is it really soothes the brain or it kind of gives you back that normal energy it's kind of peeling the onion layers mm -hmm. so when you've got these maladaptive patterns the lens is able to go in almost show the, the brain it's Self. It's like a movie. So it watches what it's doing with this tiny electromagnetic pulse, and that fluctuation in the brain wave is able to go in and correct that maladaptive pattern so that it responds more appropriately to stimuli. So flexibility is what we want for the brain. It's supposed to be neuroplastic, it's supposed to be adapting to our situations, but when it gets in a rut, it just keeps repeating that pathway over and over, making that same choice over and over. Whether that choice is we're stressed by this or this is upsetting, the lens is able to give the brain an opportunity to refresh its neurochemistry, reset, and it doesn't change personalities. It just kind of gets you back to your old self before you had the concussions, before you had the injuries, and get you back smoothed out. So you can diagnose and treat. Now, first of all, how many treatments does it take? An average session number is 11. Everyone is different. Some people, after one, they're like, I'm 50% better. Some people, it takes multiple. A lot of it depends on how long they've had the condition, how many injuries they've had traumatically to the brain, um, all those things. If they've been on medications, those types of things will be taken into effect. All right, let's get started. Let's get, I, I just got to say, you are so small. I am so proud of you. Knowing that <laughs> cute little nine-year-old who was singing and dancing, and you are, like, you're blowing my mind with your information. Yeah, right now. Isn't it wonderful? And I'm scared what she's going to find in the mind. <laughs> so for our demonstration, okay. I'm just going to put some ear clips on your earlobes okay. here. We typically will use a paste or a salt water, but for our demonstration purposes, we're just going to use the sensors today. Okay. Do you want me so, to? Oh, he's got to hold everything. I can't touch that. Actually, yeah, you can touch it, Kelly. Oh, it I doesn't can. matter. Yeah. So we're going to go on these two sites. There's 21 sites on the head. Do you, okay. do you hold so it? you hold on the white part right there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay. So the only direction that you have to follow is just to close your eyes, just to relax, close. close. Okay. okay. You will just feel nothing. That's the beauty of this non-traditional neurofeedback. Here we go. You'll hear a beep. Done. Okay. That was your first lens session. Okay. So you felt nothing besides I, no, the sensors. I felt, I felt nothing. And after the treatment, um, a lot of people will say that they see the lights are brighter, that they laughed more easily. Their spouses and their family members will say, you seem more like your old self. You <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, Mama Kelly. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm 
fantastic. I'm so intrigued by all of this. It's so fascinating. It really is. Okay, so now what because, do you see on your screen now? Can you? So on your screen. Is this private information? Should we share this? <laughs> so I'm going to unplug. Um, uh, no, I think we can there turn we it like okay, this. Yes. Okay. You're your brain. Oh my TV. gosh! So there's this is terrifying. <laughs> the 21 sites, and we're looking at the electrical activity. So now let's go out of this because this is more the diagnostics. Let me get on okay, this side. Okay, on that side. Sorry, That's I'm just okay. fascinated. Okay. Now, so now we're looking super for <laughs> private. Don't reveal that. <laughs> So now we're looking for flexibility in the brain. So we want to see if there's any what's called suppression. So if it's okay. orange, blue, purple. So we see orange. Orange! You said if we see orange, that's bad. Orange is showing it's not as flexible. It's not as responsive as it should be. So it's showing some suppression here. So now on this next chart, we want to see if there's any kind of blue. We basically want these. It's going to be all blue. <laughs> we want blue. We, oh, want we want a blue. third of the bar to be blue. We don't want it all black. So when it's. <laughs> Jeremy's calling to make an appointment tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with my brain? So, okay. When we see all black, sometimes you'll see after, because like I said, there's 21 sites. So we'll do mapping and treating. The mapping is treating, which is what we did on you, because it's the first time. So we go through all the sites, and then we see, is it orange? Does there have... Is there suppression? Mm -hmm. Is there any blue? And then based off of that, you start to respond. So even though you just had two sites one time, a lot of times the brain will start to reorganize, take that information in, and start to process it so that so your wait, brain is more efficient. what does the black efficient. mean again? You always have black, but uh -huh. you want blue. You want a okay. third of it to be blue. When there's not blue, you're not as flexible in the brain. So it's kind of in more what I was mentioning with the rut. Right. Okay. So it doesn't respond as quickly, okay. which you respond Man, to we could do but more of this. Uh, I see, you, can you please come back and do more? Yes. And do one on Kelly, and then, I mean, <laughs> I think we need treatment. Treatments. Yeah, now I'm going to monitor down. him throughout the day and see if he changes. Does he laugh easier? <laughs> yeah, look yes, at the I lights do. brighter. Oh, this is so exciting. I think you I scared him. Could you see clearly? I can't. Oh, I know. This mess. This April, mess. April, April. If somebody wants to come yeah. and visit you in Branson, where, where's your clinic and how can they reach Our you? Our clinic is downtown Branson, Branson Financial Center. Our website is acumeddoc.com. Best way to contact us is our phone number. 417-334-0899. We're by appointment only, so make sure you give us a call. Don't just stop by, and we look forward to helping. I'm Come work go. on your brain. Let's yes. all do it. Okay, I'm gonna thank go you, see Dr. April. <laughs> Thanks for having me. We'll happy. be back with lots more, guys. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, that's so interesting. Oh, does that concern you? Does that concern you? <laughs> you do need a little lens, Jeremy. <laughs>